We love God. Make no mistake about that. At our church, we believe Jesus is God. We're not asking you to change your belief system before you attend our church. We're simply inviting you on a journey toward Jesus. We believe that prayer moves the hand of God, and it's normal for every believer to be intimate with God and devoted to His cause. At our church, we believe the Bible is God's Word. It's real, it's living, and it's active. We believe freedom is the heart of God for every believer, and we value humor, simplicity, teamwork, and a positive outlook on life. At our church, we're about developing great relationships with God, each other, and those in our community. At our church, we believe that Jesus really lived, that he really died on the cross, and that he really rose again on the third day. And we cannot and will not water down or candy coat that message, ever. And finally, and most importantly, at our church, we're not concerned about where you've been, but where you're going. We believe that all people matter to God, and therefore matter to us. Today, you have chosen to sit yourself in the middle of a very safe place to hear a potentially life-changing message. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our church. church. Nothing can. 
Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise in it now. Come on, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. You may be seated this morning for just a few moments. I have some announcements to make this morning. Hey, glad to see everybody here. Listen, weather was a little crazy. We're missing some people this morning, but I understand at 11 o'clock last night, all these roads were clear. Sometime in the middle of the night, all these little snow elves come out and moved all the snow from the fields into the roads, <laughs> because I promise you it was clear, but uh, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you made it safe this morning, and uh, we'll hopefully the sun will clear some things out. We've got some people that are normally here that's joined us the live stream this morning, so thank you guys for, 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 although you're not able to be here, I'm thankful for the opportunity that we can be there in their home this morning, Amen. Um, so just a few quick um, announcements and reminders uh, for our church. So usually we have our community outreach and our food drive um, uh, was supposed to be this coming Saturday. We had to cancel it because of the weather, um, but it's been rescheduled for tomorrow. So tomorrow our fellowship hall is full of skids and boxes of foods, fresh vegetables and fruits and milks and cheese and well, the milk and stuff's in the cooler, but we've got all this stuff scattered out in the fellowship hall, but um, we're going to give it away. We came up yesterday morning just in case there was somebody that showed up, and I think we gave it around about 12 or 15 boxes even yesterday in the midst of the snow, which tells you kind of the need of the people that they're willing to come out even in the snow to get what they need. So um, tomorrow from 3 o'clock until 6-ish, ish. Because if people are still here, we're going to continue to be here to be able to give out that food. But if you're available tomorrow from around 3 o'clock, um, if you can be here to help uh, give away uh, the food boxes, um, the milk, the cheese, all the stuff that we've got over there, we can really need your help. Because a lot of people work until 4 or 5 o'clock. Some of our people work in Maryland and D.C. and other areas. So it's not like they can be here. So our normal group of people aren't going to be able to be here tomorrow but if you guys anybody in here can be here tomorrow at three o'clock to help give this stuff out that would be a huge blessing um i will not be here tomorrow me and pastor paul are headed to beckley tomorrow morning pastor paul tuesday morning tests to be a licensed minister in the church of god come on now yeah so uh so we're talking increase, right? Increase. Um, so Pastor Paul will be, be testing uh, that on Tuesday. So we're going to Beckley to be able to get those things done. So if you're available tomorrow, 3 p.m., please be here. Please let Rebecca know that you're able to be here so she, uh, she doesn't get too worried. She's got to do it by herself, which she never does it by herself. We always have uh, great people who show up. Um, the second announcement, a reminder, is our, our volunteer of the month. So our Volunteer of the Month, every month we, we honor Volunteer of the Month. It's Eric Nealon this month. Um, listen, I tell you guys, we can't do what we do around the church without volunteers. Volunteers make up the church. And I tell you all the time, if you come to Cross Point and you only come on Sunday morning to sit in a service and to hear God's Word and to worship with us, then you're missing the best part of Cross Point. Because the best part of Cross Point is our volunteers and the ministries that we do. Um, and Eric helps out with the, with the audio, the video, the media, the sound, all of those things, our live stream. So he helps out with all those things in the back that you don't sing. He, you, you think he just sits up here and goes boom, 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 boom. No, he does more than that, you know. He's always willing to call me and say, Pastor, hey, I'm going to be at the church this evening. Is there anything you need me to do while I'm there? Always asking, always following up. So we appreciate Eric, and I let him know that you appreciate him as well. Um, 
Listen, uh, boy, they clapped for you twice today. Jeez. Moving on up. <laughs> Listen, um, kids, Nacho Average Easter. So parents, we have Nacho Average Easter coming up for our kids' ministry here at Cross Point. It is Friday, April the 8th from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. You come, you drop your kids off here, um, food, dinners provided. I bet you can't figure out what they're going to have that night. Um, tacos versus burritos. Um, it's going to be a fun time. Men, what this means is date night. It means you come and drop your kids off at 6 p.m., you come back at 9 p.m. I had somebody ask me, what if I don't get back by 9 p.m.? They're going home with Dana and Hunter. That's what's going on. They're all going, your kids are going home with them because they ain't coming to my house after eating tacos and burritos. <laughs> ain't happening. But, uh, but Friday, April the 8th, 6 to 9, 6 to 9, Friday, April 8th, um, dinner's provided it's for those that are three years old to fifth grade. There's some sign-up sheets in the foyers, so you can sign up. Every, either door you want to sign up at, just sign up, bring your kids, drop them off. Pastor Dana and our Cross Point Kids ministry team will take care of them. They will be excited. They will have lots of fun. They will talk about it all the way home. I can promise you that. But uh, make, make sure that you uh, sign up for Nacho Average Easter. And uh, I think, uh, believe it or not, that's all the announcements I got. So stay with me this morning. That was quick, wasn't it? Um, for our ushers are come this morning, prepared to receive our morning tithes and offerings. And, you know, I, uh, I told the first service, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more teaching today than preaching, which is a little bit out of my element, because I got a big mouth, right? <laughs> Good man. Because <laughs> it, it's a little bit different for me, but... But what I have to say is a word from the Lord today, and, and I think we need to hear it. Um, I told him I, my, my, my word did not change because it snowed. I'm going to tell you, I was surprised it snowed. We got what we got. I was thinking, oh, these guys are idiots. They ain't getting this right. It's 65 degrees outside. I'm, I'm ready to mow grass, you know, and then boom, snow. But I have a word from the Lord, a reminder. It's more of a reminder from God today. For, for us all and, and it really should encourage us and it should lift our spirits and it should challenge us and I hope that's what it does so this morning I'm going to pray and we're going to take up our tithes and offerings but I want you guys to forget about what you got to go on what else has to happen after you leave church today I, I want you to forget about the drive here I, I want you to forget about everything else that you got going on in your life and I want you to take the next hour I'm not a long winded preacher right I, I, I grew up believing your mind can't withhold what your butt can't withstand, right? So I'm not long-winded. And I don't believe I have to be long-winded. I believe when you got a word from the Lord, God does the work. Amen? So let's prepare our hearts and minds this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your mercy, God. We thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to be in your house today. God, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us and safe and secure and warm and giving us a nice place to come to. And God, I pray this morning, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would fill this house. That your Holy Spirit would begin to move throughout the aisles and the seats. That you begin to speak to our hearts and our minds and begin to give clarity and understanding and acceptance, God, to the word that you have this morning for us. God, I pray this morning, Lord, that if somebody walked in here today, God, with a need, Lord, I pray, God, that that need be met today in this house. God, if somebody came in today sick, God, and needs a touch and needs to be healed today, God, Lord, that you would heal today, Father. Lord, we believe today, God, that by your stripes we are healed today, Father. Lord, we believe in the power of healing, God. And Lord, I pray today, God, that if somebody came in today, God, bound up and shackled up and tied up today, Father Lord, that your power of the Holy Spirit, God, will begin to move, Father Lord, and you would break every chain, God, and we will be loosed from every bondage today in this house today. God, I pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit, God, will begin to move, God, and you will begin to set your sons and your daughters free today in this house today, God. Lord, we give you complete control 
control, God. Lord, we humble ourselves before you today, God. And we release, God, ourselves to you today, God, to be used by your power and used by your anointing, God. Pour out your spirit today, God, upon your sons and daughters, God, that we may be changed, God, that the kingdom of heaven, God, would celebrate, God, what happens today in our midst. Father, I pray today, God, for our tithes and offerings. God, I pray, God, that you would continue, Lord, to bless us, God. Lord, that you would continue to bless us, Lord, so that we may continue, Lord, to be the church that you have called and purposed for us to be. Father, I pray, God, that you have your way in this house today. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's continue worshiping this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, that sounds kind of good. Say it one more time. Blessed, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. All right, come on. Put your hands together. He gives. He gives. He gives and takes away. He gives and takes away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, bless it be. He gives and takes away. Let me hear it. He gives. He gives and takes away. He gives and takes away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, bless it be. Come on, everyone. He gives. He gives 
gives and takes away. Come on, give. He gives and takes away. Oh, yes. He gives and takes away. My heart, My heart will choose to say, Lord, bless him. Someone give Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Worship, come on, worship him. There's only one name. And at that name, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord.
atmosphere. He's worthy. Hallelujah. You've pressed your way. Hallelujah. You've pushed through everything. Hallelujah. And you're here this morning. Come on, worship. He wants to hear your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need a move. We need a 
This is a move. This is a move. This is a Keep singing. move. Come on, raise your hands in this building today. This is Come a move. Come on, lift your voices today. Yes, this is. This is a move. Come on, this is. This is a move. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep singing it. This is a Keep singing it. This is This is a move. Listen, there's some people in here today. You came to church today because you needed a touch. You came to church today because you needed a move of God upon your life and upon your family. You came to church today because you needed God to move in your house. Listen, today's the move. Right now is the moment. You don't have to wait until I preach a message. You don't have to wait until the end of the service. Listen, if you came today for a miracle, if you came today to be changed, if you came today to be touched by the power and the anointing of God, I want you to go ahead now and step out from where you are and come to this. Listen, miracles, get to me, miracles happen when you move. If you need a miracle in your life today, I want you to move right now. Don't wait for nothing else. Don't wait for nobody else. Listen, this is your miracle. This is your moment. This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on. Yeah. Miracles, 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 miracles. Miracles happen when you move. Yes, miracles. Miracles happen. Lord, I pray, God, that you begin to heal, God. Lord, begin to strengthen, Lord. Let the anointing of miracles, God, begin to move right now, Lord. Miracles happen today, God. Lord, heal her mind, God. Lord, heal her spirit today, God. Lord, renew, God. Miracles! Yes, but God, you know God. Lord, you're working in the background. God. This is a move. Lord, you're going to make all things, God, work to the good of those who love God. And when we believe today, God, that the anointing and the power and the authority of God and the promises of God, Lord, it's going to be fulfilled, God. Lord, it's going to happen. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. Lord, let it happen today, God. Lord, prove it today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come, Lord, in Jesus' name, God. Raise your hands today. Just lift your hands towards the Lord. You say, Lord, here I am, and I raise my hand today, Lord, and I receive, Father, Lord, what you have, God. I came today, Lord, with a heavy heart, God. I came today, Father, Lord, needing a move, God. Touched today, God. And I full touch on our most seat on a miracle. Father Lord, I need a miracle right now. Because miracles happen when you move. Miracles happen when you move. Father Lord, right now in the name of the Lord. Lord, I don't know what the miracle is, God. Lord, I don't know what miracle Father Lord needs to be performed in her life, God, and in her family today, God. Miracles happen when we move, God. Miracles happen, God. And Lord, she stepped out by faith. God, believing that today was her day, God. So I ask you today, Holy Spirit, God, to begin to move and to begin to touch, God. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. Lord, I pray God for healing today, God. Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, 
for healing, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you are reunited, reunited, Lord, God. Everything that the enemy has done is out of this, Lord, God. Lord, that you would remove every obstacle, God. Lord, every challenge. Miracles, let me use miracles in them, God. Lord, that they would see the miracle complete in their life, God, today, Father, Lord. You find out those lights out of the house. Yes! Yes, hallelujah. Miracles happening. Come on, worship him, church. Listen, it's happening right now. We believe that he is heard and he is moving right now. He is touching us. He's setting free. He's loosening today. He's breaking every chain of bondage that is in this house today. People are going to be healed today. Healed today in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. For those who come to my church, you know me. And you know me well. But the Holy Spirit just spoke to me that there's somebody else that needs a miracle in their life. And you're standing back there because it's uncomfortable. You're standing back there because you may be new. You may be a visitor today. I don't know. But you're standing back there knowing that you need God to touch you. Knowing that you need a miracle. Knowing that things have to change. I just want to tell you today that if you'll move, I believe God will meet you right here at this altar. And your life and your circumstance and your situation will be changed. You don't have to wait. You don't have to walk out the same way you came today. But he's here. And he's working in this service day. Will I preach? I may or may not. I don't care. As long as he is moving and he is touching and he is speaking to his people and lives are being changed under the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, that's the only thing that matters to me. So if you're back there this morning and you need God to move in your life and in your family, don't you wait another moment as they continue to sing and worship the Lord. I want you to step up and I want you to begin to move into your miracle today. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's worship him today. Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray your will be done. All together, every eye. Every eye. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Be also hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Upon what is it that you need today? In every tongue confess. What is it that you need? You only have to move. That you All you gotta do is get up. You walk by faith, walk by sight. When your kingdom comes, 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 Oh, 
Raise your hands all over Mountains. this building this morning. Mountains have to Declare it today. Declare it today over your life. Declare it over your family. Your kingdom is here. Come on, declare it. Declare it today. And everyone will see. Fall down at your feet. God, we declare. God, we declare. Your kingdom is here. Your kingdom is Declare it today. Speak it today. Mountains have to Every move. chain is loose. Every chain is loose. God, we declare. And God, we declare. Your kingdom is here. Your kingdom is here. Come on. Everyone will see. And everyone will fall see. Fall down at your feet. Fall down at your feet. God, we declare. Strength today, God. Strength right now. Strength right now. Right your kingdom now. is here. Mountains have to move. Mountains have to move. Every chain is loose. Every chain is loose. Heal it right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we Lord, I ask you for your kingdom right now, Lord. Heal it, Lord. Heal it. Heal it. Heal it. Heal it. Heal it. Heal it. Everyone will see. Everyone will see. Fall down. Fall down at your feet. God, we declare. God, we declare. Your kingdom is here. Come on, mountains. Mountains. Mountains have to move. Every single chain. Everything changes. Everything changes. Everything changes. Everything changes when your kingdom comes. Let your kingdom come. The earth is shaking. Chains are breaking as your kingdom comes. Let your kingdom come. Mountains have to move. Mountains, mountains every chain. God, we declare God, we your, kingdom. your kingdom. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Anoint today. God, we declare your kingdom. Mountains have to move. Every chain, every chain is loose. And God, we declare your kingdom is here. Everyone will see. And everyone will see. Fall down, fall down at your feet. God, we declare your kingdom is here. Mountains, mountains, mountains. Mountains have to move. Your kingdom is here. Everyone will see. And everyone will see. We fall down at your feet. God, we declare your 
kingdom is here. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, church. Come on, church. Listen, he's here today. Hallelujah. And he is moving in these altars. Hallelujah. And he is saving souls. He is sanctified. He is putting all the parts and the pieces back together again. We're not in any rush. We're not in any hurry today. He's doing what only he can do in the hearts and in the lives of those that are here today. Lives are being changed and transformed right now by the power and the anointing of God. Come on, let's wait. We wait for you, God. We wait for you. Just the voices, we wait. We We wait wait for you. Hallelujah, we wait. We We wait wait for you. Yes, God, hallelujah. We wait for you. Yes, God. Walk in the room. Here we are, here we are standing. Here we are, standing in your presence. Here we are, standing in your presence. She kind of glory comes down. She kind of glory comes down. Here we are, standing in your presence. Here we are, standing in your presence. She kind of glory comes down. this house this morning. Will you stand with me? We're going to sing this again, but I want everybody to stand with me this morning. I want you to raise your hands this morning as we sing this. And I won't want you to sing it like it's a song. I don't want you to sing words off of a wall. But I want you to pour out your spirit to God this morning. And I want this to be your song to Him. Here I am standing. (laughs) Here I am, Lord. I want this to be, listen, I'm not going to drag this out. I'm not going to preach this morning. I believe God and the Holy Spirit has already done what needs to be done in the house today. And there ain't nothing I can add to it. And I ain't going to try to take anything away from it. Amen. But as they sing this song, as they sing this praise to God, 
If you're here and you've not made your way up here and you need a miracle and you need God to touch your family and in your life, I don't want you to wait any longer. I don't want you to drag this. I don't want you to leave here this morning without being touched. If you leave here this morning and you ain't been touched and you lift here bound up and strapped up and shackled up, it ain't nobody's fault but your son, but your own. He's here. And he will loose and he will set free and he will touch by the power of Jesus Christ. He'll do it. But you have to move. Here we are. Here we are standing in your presence. Here we are standing in your presence. Oh, Lord, here we are today. Lord, we need your Shekinah glory to move. We need the anointing, the power of the Holy Ghost to begin to move. We need lives changed and we need circumstances reversed. We need situations done with. God, we have fought and we have tried and we have battled. And we have done all that we can do that we can't do anything else. So right now we stand and we ask for the fullness of your spirit to be poured out. Shekinah glory. Come on, release. Come on, release, release. Release the fullness of your spirit. Shekana. Shekana glory come. Shekana. Shekana glory come. Come on, release. Release the fullness of your spirit. Shekana glory come. Shekana. We wait for you. We wait for you. We wait. We wait for you. We wait. We wait for you. To walk, walk. been good to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. 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 Listen, I know we have visitors today and I thank you. You could have chosen any church to be in today, but God knew you needed to be in this church this morning. Listen, I tell people all the time we are unapologetically Pentecostal. I ain't going to apologize for the move of God in our services and in our lives or in our families. you're looking for a church, this is what Cross Point is. You got us. Boo. You know it all. <laughs> we ain't hiding nothing. This is it. But listen, I'm glad today that you chose to be with us, and I'm glad that you came out today. And listen, I believe lives were changed today. 
I believe there was a load lifted off of some people today and dropped right here at the altar that you don't have to leave here with anymore. Amen. I believe there's some things that's been restored and I believe God picked up all the pieces and he's putting all of those things back together. Listen, it may not be complete. It may not be back together yet, but I can promise you this. God is working for all things. Amen. God is working on all things. God has not forgot you. Sometimes we feel like God's a mile away. I'm telling you, God has not forgot you and God has not lost you. He knows exactly where you are. He knows exactly when you need. And in that moment, God will reach down and touch you at just the right moment. Amen? Listen, I want to say thank you for being here today. I'm going to ask my beautiful wife if she'll come up here and get a microphone, say something sweet and anointed to you, and close us in prayer. Amen? I just want to thank you for being here in service with us this morning. This morning as I was getting ready, I was listening to a song. It's by Maverick City Music, and the song says, He made all, man made all these temples that were encrusted in jewels and, and formed out of gold and all these things and yet he chose to come and dwell among us broken vessels messed up people he, he left those beautiful man-made temples that were perfect in every way and beautiful to behold and he chose us he chose to come and live inside of us how sweet it's been to be in the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. How sweet it is to know that when we leave here, he's not going to leave us, but he's going to go with us. And whenever we go to work tomorrow, he's going to be with us. And whenever we come home tomorrow night tired, he's still going to be with us. He's not a God that leaves us or forsakes us, but he goes with us every mile of the way. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. leave this place, I want us to bind together in prayer. I want us to bind together in unity that it doesn't stop here. But whenever we meet back here Wednesday, we bring that same anointing and that same presence with us. And whenever we come back next Sunday, we bring it with us again. And we just continue to be renewed over and over again. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what God has for Cross Point. We've reached a new realm, church. If you don't know it, we've entered a new realm. Oh, hallelujah. It's hard to dismiss a service like this. Oh, hallelujah. Let's bow our heads and pray. Oh, God, I'm in awe of you this morning. God, I thank you for what you're doing. God, even in the middle of a mess, sometimes whenever we bring our broken mess in here, you turn it around, God. Oh, you da da da, you son die. This morning you begin, you begin a new work in some of us. And, and you begin to put back together the pieces, God, that we thought were just a mess, God, because you're getting ready to turn it into a message. Oh, he died on I he died. God, I thank you for your presence. I thank you, Lord, for these people who have gathered together, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that we met here in one mind and in one accord. And that, God, we're getting ready to leave here refueled, refueled, ready to go again into this week. Lord, ready to go out into this world, ready to face whatever you have for us, knowing that we're not alone, God. God, I ask that you bless us, that you use us, that you anoint us for the coming week. Touch us, Lord. Use us in some way to bring you glory. God, I give you honor and I give you praise. For you are worthy of it all. And the church said, Amen. Hallelujah. If you are available um, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we're going to give out the fishes and loaves box. Please come and support this for our community. We love you. God bless.